ready. That is your mock test finish over here. Relax yourself. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Raja, and uh, we have got lovely Maddie today. Hello, Maddie. You okay? Hi. Good. Uh, Medi is doing her first uh, mock test today, uh, just to start getting preparing for the real test. Um, so, Modi, uh, Medi have been uh, brief about the test, how it will be. And uh, doing the mock test, guys, as you know, I'm going to behave like an examiner. So, uh, Medi knows that. So, she's going to be following the satellite navigation for the first 20 minutes. And uh, any minor mistakes Medi will do, uh, you will see a different color themes on there. So, any CS will be the red. Uh, and uh, any uh, minor uh, mistakes uh, will come up as amber and any good things will come up as a green. So um, how many hours do you think you have done with me so far, Mehdi? 14, 15. 14, 15 hours, yes. Yeah. So Mehdi is doing good and hopefully from today we're going to be start doing the mock test which will help her build her confidence and she will get a better understanding how the real test will be. So do you have any question before we start? No. No? Good. So whenever you're ready, I would like you to um, drive off, please. So I'm going to behave like an examiner now, okay? All right. No more help. Hmm. Me. After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. right on the roundabout and take the third exit.
thank you and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so please the fourth exit is not the fourth exit maybe this will be the third exit going towards the town center okay. go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit It's the third exit going towards the town centre, yeah? I'd like you to park your car anywhere to the left, please. Thank you very much, and then drive off again whenever it's safe to do so, please. So what I would like you to do, 
usually we park our car but what i want you to do, just stop side by side to this black car place for me and do Turn the parallel left, parking then place take the second again. left I think I'm done. <laughs> Are you 100% sure you're done, yeah? I think I have like maybe 15, 20, 20 minutes. I don't know, but you just, you tell me, are you 100% sure you're done? I need to check the, my mirror. But... Yeah, you need to select the left L. You done? Yeah. Okay. So whenever it's safe to do so, drive off, please. You're still following the satellite navigation. Okay.
turning right at the end of this road please and the next traffic lights I would like you to turn right please I understand so if you don't tell me where to go I follow just uh, yeah so I say to you train. that I know so I say to you that this traffic light we're turning right yeah now but I mean if you stop saying where to go I follow the road sign so arrow straight arrow you always be going straight arrow okay. yeah Next roundabout, we're turning left please, first exit. Roundabout, I would like you to turn right, please. Second exit. Next roundabout, I would like you to go around the roundabout, take the third exit to your right, please. After the bend, there's a roundabout coming up. I would like you to go straight ahead, please. Or for the road ahead, second exit towards services, please. I would like you to turn next left, please, at the roundabout, first exit. And next roundabout, take the third exit to your right, please. Okay, Maddie, that is your mock test finish over here. Relax yourself. <laughs> I, I know. I know Stop I looking at this. Right, so that is your mock test finish. How you think you did? Made many mistakes. 
it's okay there's your first mock test anyway isn't it yeah so yeah. and hopefully you're gonna improve but some of the mistakes you made I wasn't expecting from you yeah so I'm gonna go through the from the start to mm. the end your first mistake we turn left at the roundabout there yeah. next one yeah we turn Position. left what happened there so there were cars there and you stopped behind the cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They was parking and I thought, I stay in line. <laughs> so body behavior. Were they close to the curb or they were in the middle of the road? They were close. But so what that means for you? They're parked. They parked. And what do you think you did? What do you think? They have stopped. So I stopped as well. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, before I start to say to you move, you I move, but if I would have said to you that time, there would be serious fault. But because I did not say it, because I examine the same thing as well, they give you small time. But depending on the situation, mm -hmm. because this road was quieter. Mm -hmm. If it's a busy road, I would have tell you straight away, come on, can you please go? Yeah, so it's different situations there. So yeah, so that means there will be observations there, yeah? Um, then as we were turning right at the roundabout, mm -hmm. uh, just an advice for you. So when you're going round the roundabout, that's the third exit. Yeah. So this is like a roundabout here. So you come in and this is your first exit, second and third exit. When you come in, after this about here, start positioning going towards the left and then go like this. What you normally do, you keep it to the right here and then you're going toward the, don't do that. So MSP mirror signal position so as you're turning right so when you're gonna signal to the left after second exit start positioning to the left as well if you keep to the right people think you may be going around yeah it's not serious it's just an advice for you don't do that okay so it's just an advice for you for the position okay um, you were uh, turning right at the traffic light you signaled but then Maybe you didn't check your mirrors or maybe you, after I can't remember it, but you didn't check your mirrors before signal though, yeah? Or that that occasion. So when you when you're turning right but the road is merging, so you you did not check your you did signal. For sure I checked them, but it's possible after the signal. Yeah, no, I it's before the I signal. I, I know it's before okay. but yeah. So Again, this is another advice for you. So I, we were going down. I make you park your car to the left, which you did. Mm -hmm. So I asked you to drive off when you're ready. You, you're going to drive. You check your mirrors. You signal. You have checked your blind shoulders. Check. Good. And there was a car coming, so we stopped. My advice to you is, once that car gone, I know you went as well, but before you go, just check your right shoulder again just for the safe point of view okay. please okay in case of any cycles motorcycles is coming um so you've done the same thing again at uh, ewood roundabout you're going right third exit towards town center positioning so after the second you should have been more to the left yeah. but you were keeping more to the right so i'm going to give you the minor this time okay mm -hmm. and also as we turn right going towards ewood there was a exit there before left turning so i kept quiet because your signal was on i kept quiet then i thought maybe she might be started listening tick tock tick tock and to. then the traffic light comes in now i have to intervene that time because the signal was still blinking so you need then i, I have to, to tell you yeah. to cancel it so you should have paid attention so i have to give the serious fault for that because i have to let you know though yeah examiner would do serious fault as well for that one Maneuver, unfortunately, I have to give the serious fault for the maneuver. You did so well, even you did quarter steering, but you should have gone slightly more closer. When you stopped, you still have a lot of space over there. Uh -huh. So you should have need to use your plan B correctly. You did utilize it, but you didn't do it correctly. So you should have gone more closer and then quarter to, so quarter to the left and then quarter to the right. I just left till I did because I was afraid. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be afraid. afraid. This is what, yeah, no, no, but there will be a serious fault for your maneuver, unfortunately, okay? Yeah. Word of advice to you. When I asked you to drive off, I know your mirror was down. But the thing is, when you stopped your car at the T junction, you started adjusting your mirror. But luckily, there was no car behind us. What if there was any car? We're holding them back, isn't it? So keep it down, 
keep driving when the examiner make you park your car somewhere then adjust it okay um mill hill again you did signal but then after the signal you check your mirrors so it's mirrors first and then signal so that will be minor right, okay then turn right um we were in coming from your road area coming from that bend yeah and there's so many parked cars on the left okay and then just before the bridge a lot of meeting situation mm -hmm. what happened there who's got the priority them or us Please. so there was a white car there yeah so does he have to do we have enough gap on the left to pull over and let him go safely or there were no gap for you to go in the gap and then let him go it, what do you think it was a gap there it was a gap on the left isn't it yeah so did you go into the gap and let him go or you carry on going straight i know i did a bit like this so he has Pace, but I didn't go exactly in the gap. Yeah, oh, we should have used a gap though. Yeah, okay. I'm not putting as a serious there, but the thing is, it could have been a serious fault mm -hmm. because technically we're driving on somebody else's road. Yes, if there is no gap over there, and if you committed first, okay. not necessary. So even though you committed, but if you see that guy, for example, he should stop because he realizes there's not enough gap. But if he keeps coming, and you feel. God, if, I, if I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna make him slow down. In that situation, stop. Let him decide what he wanna do, whether he wanna stop or whether you're gonna go on the pavement. Okay. That would be a safer option for you. But if you're gonna keep going and you're gonna make him go over pavement, there will be a different option for you. Really. So it's better sometime that if you feel that, look, I don't have any space, I'm committed, but he's gonna be coming as well and I'm gonna make him slow down, stop side by side don't go close to the park guys stop let him decide it's happened so many times in darwin sometimes they go over the pavement but the examiner will not mark you down but if you carry on going and if you make them go over the pavement at that point it will be a different scenario okay so remember that please um so empire theater you're turning right bus is there dropping kids off so you use a right lane there. Yeah. But after the last bus, what you should have done, you should have checked your left mirror, signal left, going to the left lane to go around, which is fine. So you carry on going to the right lane. Okay. No worries. You've done the right thing. So far is okay. Yeah. Then I ask you the next roundabout, turn left. About turning yeah? left. Yeah. You have checked First. your mirrors and signal to the left. Yeah. Just because you're signaling, does not mean that you can change your lane straight away i've seen the car and what did he slow down for you or not no no so in that case what you should have done let him go past there was nobody behind that lorry isn't it that van and then go over there but because we moved over so quickly that person had to slow down behind us can you not notice how quickly he went close to us isn't it that means he was not ready to give us the way but we forced him to give us the way because obviously we cut his road that will be a serious fault in your exam i know <laughs> i've seen okay I've seen you, like. yeah so we don't want to do that um and the last thing again the you did thing. again in this roundabout now i don't understand it we've done this so many times so you're coming down I say to you, the next, after the bend, next okay. roundabout, go straight ahead or further road ahead, second exit, going towards services, isn't it, yeah? Yeah. So as you were coming in, so you have got single lane, are now becoming two. Services, please. And they both have got straight arrows. And I went on Why the... you went on the right lane? We should be on where? In the left one. Okay, so if you went over there, you done right thing, you went over there, but then same thing again, as you signal, the, what happened to the car behind you? He have to change, way. and if slow down, he change his lane as well. Yeah. That will be serious fault as well. So don't do this. You always stay in the left lane though, because you got a left, you got a left lane telling the straight arrow. Yeah. So, 
it's okay it's your first mock test you will learn from it so I'm giving you one two three four minus and a meeting situation I'm gonna give you minus as well five minus and I'm giving you serious for I have to let you know for the cancel your signal. That's a serious fault. Yeah. I have to um, you change your lane at the evil roundabout. A serious fault because the van behind us. Maneuver is your serious fault, and then this roundabout again. So you have got four serious faults. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's all about learning lessons. So hopefully, you will not do this again on your next mock test. Hopefully. Okay. Overall, you're a good driver. First mock test is always people get nervous, which I can see you were slightly yes, nervous. I, uh, I need to concentrate with mirrors the signal. first and then always signal. Always I forgot about the signal to yeah. go back. Yeah. So listen, because when it's on. Yeah, talk, I know, but I talk. don't. I can't hear that <laughs> yeah. because I'm concentrating. So it's okay. I mean, uh, we're gonna be from now on every lesson we're gonna be doing your mock test. However, uh, think about your maneuver. Because you could have done correctly if you would have used your plan B correctly. Okay? Right. So that's it, guys, from me and Maddie today. It was her first mock test. Uh, didn't go as planned. It's fine. Uh, obviously, we're going to be doing a mock test on every lesson from now on. And hopefully, that's, the mistakes will go down, down, down. And then uh, we're going to book the real test as well. And that's how I do with all of my learners. So that's it from today from me and that's it. Thank you for Maddie as well. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you will see Maddie again on the future mock test videos as well. See you guys. See you.